of your glory come in the fullness of your peace of your joy of your love come Holy Spirit and strengthen us guard and keep us with your mighty hand keep us free from evil powers and be our light through countless hours oh Holy One of Israel we desire your presence we desire your love your joy your peace to be manifested in us and through us Holy One of Israel, show us your glory. Hide us in the cleft of the rock this morning. Hide us in the cleft of the rock today, Lord, and show us your glory. Show us the backside of your glory. Cause the revelation of past, present, and future to be our portion because we see your glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great is the faithfulness of the Lord God Almighty. He who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Praises be to the name of the Holy One of Israel. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah, blessed good morning, blessed good morning, blessed good morning. Hallelujah, as you're coming in, I bless the Lord for you, my Fort Worth family. I bless the Lord for you. Hallelujah. On behalf of Marsha Wade and Rowan Wade saying, Truly this is the day that the Lord has made. And we can rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We're about to take on a different fight. And that's why I'm dressed in white. Because today we don't need man's might. But we need the might and power and dominion and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going before the Lord. Hallelujah. Over these next days. Uh, so that he can change our robe, our spotted, uh, our, our, our tattered, our, 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 our contaminated robe. Hallelujah. And give us a new robe, a robe of righteousness. He will place a fresh might upon our heads. That he will cleanse everything that needs cleansing in our lives. And that he will pour himself into us afresh. Uh, that we will move mightily. That we will move. Uh, hallelujah in our family and in our community and in our nation like never before and so to those who are on instagram and those who are on facebook we say to you this day hallelujah to the king of kings and lord of lords blessed be the name of the lord most high and we are grateful for this foot watch family that have come to worship the lord that have come to say god you are good you are wonderful you are awesome you are great and you are worthy to be praised Hallelujah. So good morning to each and every one of you. Those who are in the watch parties, those who are hosting watch parties. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Good morning, special. Hallelujah. Instagram, special fourth watch family members. Good morning, good morning. It is the beginning of our fast. A time when we sanctify, consecrate, worship, praise, and open our vessels. A time when we say to the Lord, Father, we have not been good wine skin new wine skin and so we today ask you hallelujah for these next days to make us into a new wine skin that you can pour the new wine of your spirit into us and that we will go about hallelujah doing good we'll go about demonstrating your love and your glory hallelujah 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 this is truly the day that the lord has made the beginning of a time and a season and we have great expectations of what the Lord will do in this season hallelujah some of us are, are, are starting today in the race and um, it, it for some it's a it's a relay race and for some it's a marathon hallelujah so some we're just going for the for, for the first three legs and then we're gonna hand off and you're gonna just get all that God has in store for you some of us are gonna continue on for 21 days and some are gonna continue on for 40 hallelujah hey jesus hallelujah we're gonna need strength uh we're gonna please ask that you guys just continue to pray up pray up pray up um marsh and myself 
because we're going for 40, we're going for 40. Oh, and we know, we know that God will keep us hearty and we're going to be celebrating like it's a party. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so we are, we are, we're going through, man. Hallelujah. Three days for, for, for um, Fourth Watch and 40 days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After that, great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we get right into the time, you know that today is worship. Hallelujah. Worship, worship, worship time. Worship time. Worship time and repentance time. So we just want to go through some scriptures firstly and then we're going to to um hallelujah let me per, okay all right hallelujah hallelujah so, okay all right all right all right all right all right all right um administrator and um and, and, and director says to allow some more persons to to come in so that they can uh get into the time of of um of the word and the and the thing. So, all right, let's do this thing. There are some prayer requests um, that have come in. We want to just get to some of those, but before we do prayer requests, we want to just do a testimony. Hallelujah, our sister Tabata, Tabata, Tabata says, guys, some guys on a bike tried to rob her the other day. They, I guess, they rode up to her, and um, as she saw them, and they, 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 they attempted to rob her. Hallelujah. She's one of our members, one of our family members. She said she started singing, Welcome Holy Spirit. You know that song? Hallelujah. I don't know if it's which version it was. If it's Welcome Holy Spirit, we are in your presence. Our Holy Spirit, you are welcome, dear. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. But whichever one it was, man, ah, the Holy Spirit turned up in all his might and glory, and he brought angels. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Can you imagine? The fast hadn't started yet. And the glory of God had already started to demonstrate uh, in and through our Fort Watch family members. And so she said, she started singing, Welcome Holy Spirit. And one of the robbers got confused and afraid. He was visibly, now imagine, you are able to determine, to see that um, this, this guy is, is, is visibly nervous and, uh, nervous and afraid. And, and, and you are the one that is being robbed. It just shows you the presence and the peace of mind that the Spirit of God gave to Tabitha and, and, and at that time. And she said when she looked at the guy, he was shaking his head and could not carry out his evil deed. He was just there like in a panic, wondering. I, I guess the Lord opened his eyes that he saw the giant angels that were walking with the, the woman of God. And he just was panicking, saying, oh my goodness, what did I do? What did I do? I picked the wrong person. Yes, you did, son, but you must repent and turn from your evil ways. For the Lord loves you and he wants you to be one of his emissaries, one of his ambassadors, one of his evangelists. And so we pray for him and we pray for those guys who are riding around on these bikes and who are walking around uh, because... Some of them just didn't pay attention at school. Some of them was not, were not interested. And, and it's not that they made a decision that they want to become criminals or worthless, but they, were, they transitioned from a process that started with being born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And so it is so easy for us who have you know, transitioned out of those situations or uh, were never exposed to those situations to condemn and to want them destroyed and to want them killed. But they are people just like us i know they do stuff that you know would make us be angry at them and and want bad things to happen to them but um there are quite a few people who used to do stuff like that i know a guy from my church man when he gives his testimony of how he used to walk on people's roofs and cut down into them their, their house and go in and rob and you know all these kinds of things and now he's a mighty man of god 
because of an intervention that went into his community and he got saved and he's not proud of what he used to do but that's how he survived that's how he lived that's the environment he was born in bible says we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity and so we're born into a sinful world run by the prince of the power of the air and shaped by the iniquity that that that, that we see every day uh, the Bible says we should train up the child in the way they should grow. So if they're not trained up in the way that God wants them to grow, then they will tr be trained up in the way Satan wants them to grow. So when they begin to manifest satanic attitudes and satanic nature, and, and, and it's because they're being nurtured by satanic elements and devices. Amen? And so I know it's terrifying. I, I remember there were, was a time when... Uh, quietly in my own private space I used to read the star and the paper and I see all these evil things happening girls getting kidnapped children getting raped and murdered and I used to just quietly say why these people can't dead why they can't just die why can't they just die I'm telling you the honest truth because we have to be true truth from the innermost part I used to feel that way I don't feel that way anymore now I just feel, why can't we just intercede? Why can't we just pray? Why can't we just demonstrate the glory of God so that more and more, all of them are not going to be saved. We know this. We know this. Don't, don't, don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. God says that the poor you will have with you always. That means evil will always be around until Jesus come and change everything and send Satan into the pit of hell for, for, for a thousand years. But we we just have to do the best that we can by the power of God and that's one of the reasons why we are fasting in this season to ensure that we become courageous empowered we be, we, we begin to tap into the source of power that is in us already and begin to one person at a time in some instances affect and effect our community and our environment and our world so that change can take place. We didn't get to this state of depravity overnight. It took time. Satan comes in and he little by little takes over our environment, takes over our family, takes over our community, takes over our nation. And so as we move, we have to take it back. Either little at a time by God's grace or in big chunks, however way God sees. But we are the ones that have to take back our community. So we pray for those young men. We pray for all the young men that are going about doing evil because they think that that is the way, the only way that they can survive. We pray that our economy will change, opportunities will be presented, and that their, God will change their hearts so that they will be able to take advantage of those opportunities that will come as a result in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to just pray. So we thank God for his protection and his covering of our sister Tabitha and uh, we just declare that God is good and we celebrate with her for seeing and being moved in the greater level of confidence and faith that God is with her. We want to also pray for our brother Wayne Kesney. Wayne is going through a very difficult time right now. His, his heart is broken. He's having um, severe, um, in some instances, anxiety attacks. And we want to just pray that the Lord will just minister to him and bring peace to his heart and restoration to his, his, his place of peace and joy in the name of Jesus. So Father, we just lift up Wayne Kesney before you this morning. We decree and declare, O God Almighty, that your hand is upon him. We declare, O God Almighty, that though the enemy desires to sift him as wheat, even bring suicide thoughts to him, O God Almighty, we cancel, cramp and paralyze every assignment of the enemy against this man of God's life. We declare and decree, O God, that he shall not be told that with any convincing way, or in any convincing way, Father, that you are have abandoned him, that you have left him on his own, that there is no help for him in God. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that the devil is a liar, and he will know, Wayne will know that the devil is a liar, and it will be concrete in his mind that the devil is a liar, and that of every broken thing in his heart, every broken piece in his heart will be mended in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, his heart is shattered right now, and he's really feeling pain. Oh, Father God, but I thank you that you are the master seam, seamer. You can seam every, you can knit every piece of flesh that has been broken apart. 
stitch it together oh god almighty ah oh, father needle and tread holy spirit needle and tread and stitch that heart back together so that we can once again find the joy and the peace of your grace and mercy so we bless him this morning father and we declare that your good hand is upon him to keep him in perfect peace with his mind stayed on you in jesus name father we want to lift up emily this morning before you lord emily is going through her going through lord she needs to be delivered set free and made whole there needs to be clearance in her circumstances clearance oh god almighty for work clearance in her house clearance oh god almighty in her in all areas of her life and so father we speak to her circumstances this morning like the woman with the issue of blood oh god we say let virtue be imparted into emily's house into emily's life into emily's finances into emily's health into emily's family in the name of jesus christ we cut off every assignment every connection every vortex every portal open into emily's house into emily's circumstances we declare that the atmosphere above emily's life oh god almighty has shifted and it's in angelic appearances holy angels that encamp round about her to keep her in all her ways and all her days in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth emily we declare that you are set free and made whole in this season to prosper and to be in good health i prophesy that before the end of march 2021 emily a shift shall be evident to you it shall take its time and just build up but most of the things that you are encountering right now are ah, God has begun a work and before the end of March between now and March 31st it's 31st March of 31 days or 30 31 before the before March 31st before I never said on before March 31st watch God Emily you will testify right here of how God has turned your life around and has given you testimonies rather than prayer requests in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Tracy and Brian, hallelujah, going back to work after being sick. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, from March 2020, that's a long time. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you for Tracy and Brian. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the testimony. Oh, Father, when she was sick for so long, she, the devil must have spoken to her on many occasions and said, you're never going to leave this bed. You're never coming out. But Father, he didn't remember the story of Hezekiah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, he didn't remember uh, that the saints have prayed for Tracy, that the, 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 the family have prayed for Tracy. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we thank you this morning that we can Hallelujah. celebrate Jesus. Tracy's restoration, Tracy's recovery. And yes. we thank you, Lord, just as Tracy that even as she has recovered Jesus, health, oh God Almighty, just Hallelujah. as how Tracy has recovered in health mm -hmm. she will recover everything that she lost from Hallelujah. march 2020 yes, until now in the name Hallelujah. of jesus christ jesus. i thank yes, you lord Lord god almighty for excellence for promotion for elevation mm -hmm. i thank you that tracy shall not the even celebration. remember the things that have happened to her yes, because lord. of what will happen to her going forward yes, in the name of glory. jesus lord yes Hallelujah. let the latter day yes. glory be upon oh Tracy Brand in the name of Jesus. Yes. I thank you that our testimony to us, mm -hmm. O oh God Almighty, and to others around will not just mm -hmm. be that she was made whole and set free mm -hmm. to go forth again, but that God has not only that has not sent her out beer, hallelujah, and said, Go and do what needs to be done, mm -hmm. but he has sent her out with much blessings and much favor. So Tracy, we speak promotion, we speak increase, hallelujah. I speak a new car. Hallelujah. 2021, I speak a new car into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you have a vehicle now. I don't know what state it is in, but I speak a new car. I don't know that just came into my spirit, uh, a change of car or a new car. If you don't have one in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that for your trouble, you shall receive double. Hallelujah. I declare a blessing that make it rich and add no sorrow in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Eugene Douglas is in the hospital. Hallelujah. Father, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Eugene Douglas has come into this fourth watch hour as one who is crying out in the wilderness, one who is crying out for help, one who is saying, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. So Lord Jesus Christ, we stand in the gap for Eugene Douglas this morning and we say have mercy on him, Lord. Lord, he does not belong in the hospital. The same way you took out Tracy out of the hospital. Lord God Almighty, we declare this day that Eugene Douglas must come out of the hospital. I command every vein, every muscle, every tissue, every cell, every membrane, every organ in his body from the crown of his head. It is a is a lady or oh, Eugene? Sorry, sorry, I apologize. Eugene just seemed like a, a male name to me. No disrespect. Hallelujah. And so Eugene Douglas, Miss. Miss Eugene Douglas, we command you to be healed now. We right command now. you to be whole now. Right we now. command you to be made whole in right the mighty name right of now. Jesus right Christ of Nazareth. Right I right speak now. to every cell, Amen. every joint and marrow, Amen. every nerve, every, every organ, every bone, every, every tissue, tissue, every blood cell. Every I speak to your very DNA in the name of Jesus. And I pull out the Holy Amen. Ghost. I, vaccine the holy spirit vaccine and i inject it into you now and i squeeze the needle into your hand and i release the substance into your shoulder in the name of jesus christ and right now the holy spirit power is moving through your sister eugene sister eugene douglas you 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 as we come in agreement as the family of god and the the Holy Spirit vaccine is moving through your blood cells, through your body. And I declare a miraculous recovery in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your hand be upon Sister Eugene right where she is now. And let her celebrate the miraculous restoration of her health. That she will testify of your goodness in the land of the living in Jesus name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And so, Father, even now as we go into the, the matter at hand, I just point my hand to this screen and I declare that any other food watch family member or members of their Leo, family that Mrs. are. Hallelujah. Yes, including Brother Leo who is having muscle spasms. I speak to those spasms now and I command you to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Any other member, Lover and Somers, hallelujah. I speak to your muscles. I speak to your joints. I speak to your, your, your organs. I speak to every part of your body, your bones. Yeah, yes, yes, your nerves. I speak to your, your brain every organ in your body and the organ outside of your body your organs outside of your body i speak to every part every fiber of your being from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet and i command health i command restoration i command strength in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i command wholeness to be your portion in the name of the lord jesus christ the word of the lord that cannot lie says what he has spoken has gone forth and cannot return unto him void but must accomplish the task for which it was sent forth the word of god has been given a mission and the word of god says by the stripes of yeshua the amashiach of nazareth through his efficacious blood that was said was shed to restore us we are were and will always be healed and so by that word by that decree by that declaration hallelujah that is established i declare your healing i declare your wholeness now in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth and so brother leo i command that spasm in your neck to come out now spasm i call you by name come out now in the name of jesus christ your spirit of fibroids i command you to melt like wax die now in the name of jesus christ die now every fibroid small or big hallelujah returning or first time i command you to receive fire 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 now melt in the name of jesus christ of nazareth pass out pass out i send the fire from the God of Elijah into every womb, every stomach area. Hallelujah. And I command every fibroid to melt now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every an anomaly and abnormality in your muscles, in your bones, in your organs. I command it to die by fire now and wholeness be your portion in the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so, guys, as we get into this time of fasting, 
we want each and every one of you to to recognize oh and by the way let me just say for information um the 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 fact that we have agreed that our fasting will be from 6 a.m to 3 p.m to ensure that everyone everyone is able to participate and none will feel pressured and feel like they can't make it for the mature ones among us i said this on friday for the mature ones among us you can if you so desire or is are able to can go until six amen hallelujah it is not we will still do the the, the three o'clock um prayer and and and, and so on and so forth at 2 30 sorry um prayer and support and all that kind of stuff but if you can come on because as you press in as you push towards the mark as you give up more as you the more you save is the more you'll have for the rainy day come on somebody hear me carefully the more yes so three o'clock you'll get all that we agreed because that's the covenant that we have made with god so you'll get it but if you add three more hours and say lord I, I, I have been I've been living XY and I've been doing XY for all these years. I want to now put more extra into your bank account with the hope that the interest that you will pay on the extra will bring uncommon increase to me. And so you can you can you can bargain with God like that man. Give him more time. Give him more 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 worship. Give him more uh, pres uh, of his presence and he will give you much more than you have given him so if you can no no pressure no it's not a rule we're not decree we're not changing the the, the the um the rules of engagement but i'm just saying to you if you can and you can press in for more press in for more and go to six amen hallelujah and we can um and and, and we'll see what god will do with the extra that we put in in the bank so you were scheduled to save three hundred dollars a day hallelujah but you say lord i'm gonna stretch and put in six hundred dollars and the six hundred dollars at the end of the year will produce so much more glory to god okay hallelujah so we're gonna go uh through a little time of repentance and then we're gonna uh, declare some scriptures hallelujah so we're gonna just in your in your own way and in your own time in your space we want to just repent of everything that you know we think that we either have done or have not done uh, everything that we should have done that we didn't do uh, we want to start afresh we want God to just rip off the old garment of fear and doubt and unbelief we want God to rip off the old garment of, 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 um, of laziness of slothfulness come on of, of, of of, of, of not doing what we're supposed to do we want to rip off all of that garment today and start afresh with the lord start on a journey it's like getting married all of the things that you used to to do and all of the the ways that you used to live how you used to just wake up and not spread your bed and and and, and you just go to work and say i'll spread it later you wake up and you leave um or you go to bed and leave dishes in the sink and you say i'll do, i'll do that in the morning i'm not saying that that anything is wrong with that i'm just saying when you when you're now married your your those same kinds of, of, of situations doesn't present themselves and so we're we we um we're saying we want to do things differently now we want to do things with excellence we want to do things according to the will and purpose of god and so because we're married to jesus we're saying we are changing how we operate we're repenting for the way we used to live and we want to live with you now with your spirit of excellence with your glory hallelujah leading the way in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so hallelujah glory to the name of god so father we just thank you this morning for your mercies that are new we thank you lord that you said if we should humble ourselves and sincerely repent for the evil things that we have done and the evil ways that we have behaved you O oh lord will be faithful to forgive us and you will cast our our sins and our iniquities into the sea of forgetfulness and you'll remember them no more so this morning father as a family this fourth watch hour in this fourth watch family we come to you and we say lord we have been in derelict of duty we have not done all that we were supposed to do we have done things that we should not have done and we repent this morning we repent oh god almighty for not telling people about you we repent this morning oh god for not having the kind of consistent devotional time and and, and time in your presence and 
acknowledging you in all our ways as we should we repent this morning oh god and we commit to changing our ways and doing things differently we repent this morning oh god almighty for every evil concupiscence that we have uh, facilitated or been a part of every lie that we have told oh father god every sexual immorality in thought or in action oh father god we repent of lust of the flesh lust of the eyes pride of life we repent oh god almighty for things that we have taken that we should not have taken. Oh, Father God, things we have said against uh, men of God, against leaders, against women of God, against our brothers and sisters, against our parents. We repent this morning, oh Lord God Almighty. We repent for treating people uh, without love in the name of Jesus Christ, for being mean to the guys on the road, the guys that wipe the windshield. Father, sometimes they come and spray the water on your windshield and it was just washed, the car was just washed, and you feel annoyed and upset and you make remarks oh god that are not that are not pleasing to you lord this morning we repent we lay ourselves bare before you this morning oh god and we say lord forgive us forgive us lord forgive us for the things that we have said to our partners at home our children Oh God Almighty, when they mess up, when they make mistakes, oh God, when they say things that doesn't sound good to us or doesn't make us feel good, we apologize, oh God, for the things that we even think. because We think because we don't say it to the children or say it to our partners that it was not said, but it was said to you. You heard the thought. You heard, oh God Almighty, the word spoken in the realm of the Spirit. And so, Lord, we repent this morning. We repent, O oh God Almighty, for the things you told us not to do that we still did. Those relationships that we got into that we should not have. Those uh, business ventures and those investments those things that we did oh god that we should not have done lord we repent for not acknowledging you in all our ways uh, that you and you alone will direct our path we repent oh god we repent for every disobedience that we have demonstrated against your word in the name of jesus christ we repent oh god for every act of rebellion every act of rebellion oh god almighty we repent rebellion against family rebellion against authority in our home Rebell rebe rebellion against authority at work rebellion against authority at church we repent oh god almighty because if we acknowledge you you will give us a way to, to 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 get around and to get out of the circumstances and situations that we were choosing to do by flesh and to rebel against lord where there have been any jezebel a, a spirit of jezebel operating in us we repent and ask that you will deliver us in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth lord where we have gone off like samson to 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 engage in 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 on on Un, unprescribed hallelujah activities with those who are not of you oh god almighty those who who, who who seek to to go outside of the realm of what you have prescribed as the the the, the authorized interactions lord god almighty we repent oh god we repent for being unequally yoked with unbelievers oh god almighty we repent for not declaring the goodness of the lord in the land of the living to everyone that that that, that come in the name of jesus we repent for not evangelizing as much as we should in 2020 oh god almighty and even thus far in 2021 we repent for not telling our children about you and for taking them to church and from ensuring that they are trained up in the way they should grow we repent oh god for letting the, the, the phone and the tablet and the computers grow the children instead of interacting with them we're always tired or busy hallelujah lord we repent for not spending enough time with you not knowing what you desire for us and what you desire for our family we repent this morning oh god we repent oh god almighty we repent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we repent for the life that we have lived, the good things and the bad things, oh God. We repent for how we have not allowed you to be the driving force and influence in every area of our lives. We repent, oh God, and turn this morning from our, all, all our evil ways and we ask your forgiveness sincerely in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, fill us as we repent and release ourselves from the things that we have carried we repent for unforgiveness yes hallelujah thank you lord we repent for unforgiveness god we repent and we forgive lord we forgive 
Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you this morning, oh God, as the Lord has just brought this forcefully in my spirit, people of God, my family, I'm going to ask you sincerely, those of you who can think of someone it matters not who it matters not what they did the spirit of god is crying tears are in my eyes because i'm crying on behalf of the spirit of god this morning the lord is saying unforgiveness is eating away at the the, the, the soul of the people of god unforgiveness unforgiveness sometimes we're, we 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 had an issue an encounter before we were saved and there was unforgiveness that was was a root in our heart and we become christian and we forget about it but the unforgiveness is still there because sometimes when we remember the person we may not hate them but we have not released them come on somebody and we get comfortable and think that it is okay because we have not we we, we say i hear this normally marsha and i hear this in deliverance um you know i i, I forgive them man because I, I don't see them anymore i keep them far i don't interact with them but um you know it's it's okay i'm okay no you're not unless you are willing to bless that person and love that person and care for that person as if they never did anything to you maybe just maybe you have not fully forgiven them and so i just ask you even now to just think through think through your mind all the people that have lied on you have hurt you have broken your heart have have, have have stolen from you have, have just done things to you that should not have been done have abused you come on some of you have been abused some some of you women have been sexually and and, and, and verbally and emotionally abused uh, when you were children or, or, or even when uh, at different points in your life some more than once and and, and and the person you know the person sometimes it's a family member and it's really hard you should not have gone through this and sometimes you even have not forgiven god for allowing this to happen to you this morning as we go into this time of seeking god of going into the presence of god of, of, of seeking for him to wash us and cleanse us we want to forgive we want to forgive so we're gonna just declare lord i forgive lord i forgive all who have hurt me all who have hurt me no matter what they have done lord no matter what they have done lord some i remember some i remember and some i cannot remember and some i cannot remember but lord jesus lord jesus i place on the altar this morning i place on the altar this morning every person every person every organization every organization every church every church that has caused me hurt that has caused me hurt i place them on the altar i place them on the altar lord. and i choose to forgive and i choose to forgive i forgive them lord and i forgive them lord and release them to you i release them to you in the name of jesus in christ in the name of jesus lord jesus lord jesus i forgive myself i forgive myself for all the mistakes i've made for all the mistakes i've made the things i've done that i should not I've have done, done that i shouldn't have done i forgive myself lord. Lord. I forgive myself, Lord. For having low self-esteem. For having low self-esteem. Low self-worth. Low self-worth. Even self-hate. Even self-hate. For the things I've done to myself, for Lord. The things I've done to myself, Lord. Eating what I should not have eaten. Eating what I should not have eaten. Overeating. Overeating. Squandering your resources. Squandering your resources. I repent, Lord. I repent, Lord. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. As I forgive myself. As I forgive myself. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The heavens are now open. Hallelujah. Forgiveness blocks the heaven yes. forgiveness makes a dark cloud comes mm. over our, our our lives makes like ah, a, a concrete roof or a solid steel roof comes over us and as we pray it just hit that roof and bounce back because yes, unforgiveness says that god cannot hear us unless yes, we repent and forgive Hallelujah. i know sometimes when depending on what has been done to you it's difficult yes. to forgive but let me tell you it's not impossible uh yes. if you know that unforgiveness is 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 similar to drinking poison mm -hmm. and expecting someone else to die that's not very wise yes. that's not a good way to live and you are never going to see the person that you are holding up in your heart drop yes. dead as a result of you holding them up in your heart and so just release 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 and just watch what god will do your prayers will get answered breakthroughs will come sickness and disease will leave you because unforgiveness causes sickness and disease causes stress causes all kind of deterioration mm -hmm. of your cells and your your joints and marrow your vertebrae yes, your nervous Lord. system unforgiveness really 
is like cancer. It eats away at every part of you. People of God, I'm telling you, I had to forgive my father. And it was not easy. I'm telling you, to this day, I, 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 I still get teary-eyed. My father died last year, in, 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 in early up in the year. And I still March. get teary-eyed. In March, my father passed away. And I still get teary-eyed. You know why? Not because of what he did or didn't do for me as a firstborn son. But how many years I wasted holding him up in my heart. My father was part of how I preached. My father was part of the motivational talks I gave. I used to jokingly ridicule my father when I talked about the number of children he had and the things that he did and all these things. And it wasn't from a good place. I wasn't trying to encourage them from a good place. Yes, it was encouraging trying to tell them not to do what my father did. But I was just, I was using that platform to just spew anger and venom and unforgiveness at my father no i know because i'm more mature now and i'm and you know we 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 patched up um before he died and and had a little a, a good time and he became a man of god and all that and all that but some of you are still going through some of those situations where your father was not present where your mother gave you away or your mother abused you or your father abused you whatever it is whichever parent uh, we're not gonna spend a lot of time on that but i'm saying to you um, your greatest pain is not going to be from what was done to you that caused you to have unforgiveness but for the time you lost the time you lost and what was done to you by you holding unforgiveness in your heart and so I hear the Spirit of the Lord crying out this morning saying unforgiveness is the biggest thing that is happening some of you look like you're going around good some of you look really nice you have on your makeup you have on your nice clothes you dress well and but inside you're eating out eating out because unforgiveness is in your heart release it today release today if you want god to forgive you of all the things that you have brought to the altar this morning the one thing that you must make sure you put on that altar is forgive unforgiveness place it on the altar and just say lord I don't know how I'm going to walk through this because every time I see this person, I feel the pain. And God says to tell you, I will heal you. Hallelujah. I will heal you. Jesus. I will heal you. If my wife can forgive, if my wife can forgive <laughs> some of the persons she has forgiven, I won't say publicly. Like my father, she had issues and she forgave. I know you would think that none of those things ever happened because of how much she has loved. And because of that love, because of that forgiveness, it don't mean that those things didn't happen. It don't mean that the enemy don't bring them back as memory, trying to get you back into the place. But he's not trying to punish the person who abused you or, or, or did evil to you. He's trying to punish you because unforgiveness in you only punishes you hallelujah and so we've released everything to the lord this morning and we're gonna see let me tell you guys i promise you if you do not have unforgiveness in your heart and you have released all the other things that we have prayed and things private and personal to you that in your space this morning you have given to the lord and say lord you know whether it's abortion whether it's homosexuality whether it's it's it's, it's lesbianism it matters not man the whole gamut of things whether it's just a lie whether it's just not being consistent or persistent in the things of god it's not acknowledging god that's a sin as well come on somebody if you don't acknowledge god in all your ways when the bible says you should then that's a sin any disobedience of the word and so don't think that because i am not i don't have those big things i've never committed an abortion i've never done this i've never cheated on my wife or my husband and, and all these things no it's not what we consider quote unquote the big sins it is anything that is not of faith oh you didn't know that let me say it again the bible says anything that is not of faith is sin Amen. All right, let that soak. Okay, so we're going to move on. We've done the repentance, and I trust that you have done a time of repentance personally and privately that will get you into that place now where you're, 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 you're white, not just outside, but inside as well. 
we are new vessels. So we're going to start off with the first scripture, Exodus 20. Those are worship scriptures. Yes. Worship. Oh, yes, yes. The worship scriptures, Exodus 20, verse 2 to 6. Exodus 20, verse 2 to 6. And God spoke. No, that's not two. Okay. I am the Lord, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And so we say, thank you, Lord, for bringing us out of the house of bondage. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us out of the house of bondage. Thank you, Lord, for breaking the chains. Thank you, Lord, for breaking the chains. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free. And thank you, Lord, for keeping us free. And thank you, Lord, for keeping us free. Thank you, Lord, that we will not stay longer. Thank you, Lord, that we will not stay longer in the wilderness. In the wilderness, than we should. Than we should. But this day. But this day is the beginning. Is the beginning of our crossover. Of our crossover into the promised land. Into the promised land. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord, for setting us free. For setting us free and keeping us free. And keeping us free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. You shall have no other god before me. Hallelujah. We worship you this day, O God. We declare that you are our God. You are our God. And we have no Lord. other God beside you. Yes, Lord. Our cars are not our God. Our cars are not our God. Our husbands are our spouse are not our God. Our spouses are not our God. Our children are not our God. Our children are not our God. Our monies are our not monies our God. Our are not our God. Our workplace is not our God. Our workplace is not our God. Our business is not our God. Our business is not our God. You alone, Jehovah. You alone, Jehovah. Is our God. Is our God. We worship you this day. We worship you this day. And declare. And declare that you are God. You are God. From beginning to the end. From beginning to the end. And there's no place for argument. And there's no place for argument. You are God. You are God. All by yourself. All by yourself. Hallelujah. 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 You shall not make for yourselves a graven image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. That as we worship you. That as we worship you. We worship you alone. We worship you alone. We will not worship. We will not worship. Anything in the skies. Anything in the skies. On the earth. On the earth. Or under the sea. Or under the sea. We shall make no graven image. We shall make no graven image. But we shall honor only you. But we shall honor only you. We shall take dominion. We shall take dominion. As a form of worship. As a form of worship. Over everything that flies. Over everything that flies, creeps and crawls, creeps and crawls, or swim in the sea, or swim in the sea, because that's how you have created us. That's how you have created us to honor you. To honor you. So we worship you this morning. So we worship you this morning and ask you, Lord, and ask you, Lord, to come down in the cool of the morning. Come down in the cool of the morning, as you did for Adam. As you did for Adam in the cool of the afternoon. In the cool of the afternoon and tabernacle with us. And tabernacle with us and give us the honor. And give us the honor to bow at your feet. To bow at your feet and worship you. And worship you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we worship you today. We worship you today. We repent, O God. We repent, O God. For any worship. For any worship that we have given, that we have given to anyone else, to anyone else, to anything else, to anything else, it was not deliberate. It was not deliberate. We declare today, we declare today that you alone, that you alone are worthy to be worshipped, are worthy to be worshipped, and worthy to be adored, and worthy to be adored. We give you all praise, we give you all praise, all honor, all honor, and all glory, and all glory in the matchless name, in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. Receive our worship. Receive our worship. Receive Lord. our worship. Receive our worship, receive Lord. our worship, receive our worship, oh Lord, Lord. Oh in, Lord. Jesus name. in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. We're just playing yes. this, this, this part, this few verses, few mm -hmm. bars of this song of worship. Hallelujah! Receive it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. You are God from beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Hallelujah. You are God from beginning to the end. 
The next worship that we're going to do from the word is from 1st Chronicles 16, 23 to 31. I'm just going to read it in a declarative way and you just say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. That's your thing. Amen. Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. Amen. Hallelujah. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. Amen. Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods. Lord, Amen. We believe. Lord, we believe. Lord, Lord we, we worship, worship you. For all Hallelujah. the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Lord, Lord we believe. believe. Lord, we worship you. Honor and majesty are before him. <coughs> Strength and gladness are in his place. Lord, Lord we believe. Lord, Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Hallelujah. Bring an offering and come before him. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. Tremble before him, all the earth. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. And let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. Again, Lord, we believe. Lord, we worship you. Amen, amen, amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Listen to this song again. We're worshiping the Lord. Come on. We're getting ready for this time. Hallelujah. We're getting prepared. Hallelujah. For this time of worship, this time of praise, this time of just receiving from God. Yes. Amen. Amen. You are God. Hallelujah. Holy and righteous. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Oh, you are God. Hallelujah. Yes, you're God. Yes, you're God. Yes, you're God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. You are God. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are God. Hallelujah. You are Lord. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, before we go to the next worship one, we just want to declare a few verses of Psalm 51 because as we worship, God reveals more and more uh, anything that is hidden deep inside of us that needs to be flushed out. Hallelujah. And Psalm 51 is David repenting before the Lord as he worshiped, as he worshiped, he is repenting before the Lord. And so Psalm 51 says, Have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. We are desirous of God's tender mercies. 
to fall afresh upon us this morning regardless of what you have done hallelujah david committed adultery and murder come on hallelujah but god still had mercy i know none of you here have committed adultery and murder but even if you have you are just in line like david a man of the god's own heart so do not feel condemned do not feel like you are you are overly convicted hallelujah yes. once you have come with a broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart god will not despise it nothing that you yes. can do is too much for god to say i forgive you receive my tender mercies yes. hallelujah hallelujah and so we say to the lord this morning father yes. as a fourth what family we ask you blot out our transgressions wash us thoroughly from our iniquity yes, and Lord. cleanse us from all our sins yes, in the name of Jesus Christ for we acknowledge our transgressions and our sin is mm -hmm. always before us against you and you only have we sinned yes, O oh God and done this evil thing in your sight mm -hmm. that you may be found just when you speak speak mm -hmm. into our situations and circumstances oh god speak into our doubt our fear our unbelief speak oh god almighty into every sin mm -hmm. that we have committed and, and and judge that we might be found blameless in the name of jesus christ behold i was bought brought forth in iniquity and in sin my mother can our mothers conceive us behold you desire truth in the inward parts that's what we come with at the altar this morning lord this fourth watch family comes with truth from the inward path and we say lord be merciful unto us the purge us O oh god with his hope and we shall be clean wash us O oh god and we shall be whiter than snow make us hear joy and gladness yes, that the bones oh god you yes, have broken may rejoice Amen. hallelujah Jesus. hide not your face from our, from us oh god yes, hide not your face from our sins but yes, blot Lord. out Jesus. our iniquities yes, in the name Lord. of jesus christ yes, hallelujah yes, visit Lord. us oh god in this fourth watch hour hallelujah. and blot out our iniquities yes, in the name of jesus for we desire to come humbly at your feet yes, and Lord. to receive from you for you to lift us up and place us again on your mantle hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Name hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Refine us, fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Refine us, fire. Mm. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, what a God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. One desire. Yes, God. To be holy. It's to be holy. Set apart for you, Lord. Apart for you. I choose Hallelujah. to be holy. I choose to be holy. Set apart for you, Master. For you. Ready to do your will. Ready to do your will. Hallelujah. Guys, I want to just introduce you to a song. Some of you may know it. But in this time, I want it to be one of your anthem songs that you play for these next three days. And then you will decide, based on what the Lord speaks to you, um, that you can continue to play it. But it's a song uh, um, sung by Kevin Levar. It's called A Heart That Forgives. A Heart That Forgives. Please play that song at some point in time. Um, morning, noon, or night, hallelujah, or all three times. It's a powerful song, a very powerful song. We're going to play a little part of it for you now so that you can hear what this man got a download from God. I hope you can hear it. Yeah. Can you tell? One that overcomes evil 
with goodness and love. Jesus. This is a reflection of intimacy. Over and over again. Can't get offended. Your Lord Jesus Christ, everybody, even my enemies, who live like you, just like you do. Oh my God, hallelujah. I want a heart that forgives. Hallelujah. So that's what we are asking God for, a heart that forgives. This song chronicles it perfectly. Hallelujah, the presence of God is here. We're asking for more of God to be reflected in us. And this song, I'm telling you, my friends, my family, people of God, this song really encapsulates, hallelujah, that which we should be asking God for. A heart that loves like Him, lives like Him, does what He does. A heart that forgives even our enemies. Nobody, even those that hurt us, deepest, a heart that can forgive them because that's the heart of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so when we begin to walk in the heart and the presence of God, then we will truly be like God and nothing shall be impossible for those who walk in godly presence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay, our next uh, worship scripture is uh, Jeremiah 20 and verse 13. Jeremiah 20 verse 13. And it says, Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the poor from the hand Hallelujah. of evildoers. Glory Thank to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah there Jesus. is none among us that cannot say, Thank you, Lord, for you have delivered me from the hand of evildoers. Thank you, Lord. We heard the testimony, hallelujah, of our sister this morning. Evildoers came to rob her. And when she sang that song, man, Holy Spirit, welcome, Holy Spirit, welcome, Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Evildoers could not do her any harm. And so she celebrates this morning like yes. Jeremiah hallelujah. because she was delivered from the hand of evildoers. You do, some of us do not know, you know how many accidents a couple of nights ago my wife and i were coming home mm -hmm. and it was a little late and we were just coming down steadily driving because my wife don't like fast driving at all if i go up to 60 kilometers <laughs> 60 kilometers she start to look and get edgy you know so she wants us to be safe so i've learned to just drive like a mm -hmm. driving miss daisy a kind of old man kind of thing it sounds funny guys but it's real and because I, I am I'm seeking more and more to obey. Cause you know we man on the driving thing. We like for kind of flash it and dash it once in a while. And she gives me a little leverage sometimes, but majority of the time she wants me to take it easy. And this was one of the times when I was just honoring my wife, man, and we were just cruising, heading home. And let me tell you, this minibus man was coming from, from Riddle side where we were going, and he's coming up that straight road, heading up to Price Right, Price Mark for those who live in Jamaica and who understand that road. And he just came out from behind a vehicle and was coming at breakneck speed towards us. And because I was going at a speed that I had control, I could, was able to stop and veer over. And he just barely squeezed through and avoided a head-on collision and was gone about his merry way. And, you know, I just, in my own quiet heart, just said, Lord, have mercy on him. Have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And so I say that to say to you that God delivers us out of the hands of evildoers so many times that we don't even know. I could testify of that one because I literally saw it. But you know how many times we have near misses we didn't see. You know how many times arrows came that was blocked by angels. You know how many times they, oh, the enemy tried to push us off a cliff and the, and, the, and the angels turned us and let us, didn't even see the cliff that was waiting for us. How many times oh, traps were set for us at work, oh, on our way to work. Come on, somebody. And the, and the angels destroy those traps before we get there. 
Thank you, Lord, for the liberation. Lord, we glorify you this morning for you have delivered us out of so many pits and traps and holes. Lord God Almighty, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you deliver us from evildoers in the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. You, you are amazing, God. Hallelujah. Whether we know it or not, He's amazing. Whether we see it or not, whether we can testify of it or not, He is amazing, God. He watches over us. The fact that you don't have a literal testimony to give, hallelujah, that is exciting. The fact that you are saying, all I have to say is thank God for life. You don't know what God has had to go through just to preserve that life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't know how much theatrics and how much uh, missed movements, divine movements and intervention God has had to do to preserve your life. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, I have literal examples of a man pointing a Uzi at me and I had to run into a house that I didn't know and he didn't come in, follow me and shoot me up on the people in the house. So God preserved me. A man put a gun in my face and took all my property and I had a licensed firearm on me and God made him blind to it. He didn't see it. So he couldn't because if he had found that gun, he would have had to shoot me. But God made him not see it. Who robs somebody and take everything and not find a firearm on them? Only God. It was no good luck. It was no, 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 no skill or strategy that I employed. It was God. I met in accident on many different times because I used to do sales across the country but God knew that this time and this season to meet up with this family would come in the future and so he preserved me from all the plans and the schemes and the evildoers come on somebody give God praise give God praise give God praise he has kept you for such a time as this who is to tell that you were not born for such a time as this Glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. How excellent is the name of our God. How great is our God. How great is his name. He's the greatest one. Forever the same. He rose back the waters from the mighty red. All the mighty red sea said, I'll lead you. Won't you trust in me? Come on, come on, join me. How great is our, how great is our God. How great is his name. He's the greatest one. Forever the same. He rose back the waters from the mighty Red Sea. He says, I lead you. Won't you trust in me? Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What a gracious and awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Incredible mm. God. Oh, hallelujah. Still can't believe all the ways he has made. Ooh, turn up that one, turn up that one. One of my favorite songs. Incredible praise. Worship, worship, worship. Today's worship and repentance. Today's worship and repentance. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God would do this for me. I'm telling you where God took me from. Oh, what? Ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. They would have called me dregs. Voted least likely to succeed. Come from a gully bank. 
so poor that I live with rat and chink. Hallelujah. Incredible God deserves incredible praise. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, my heart cries out, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Some of us forget where God has taken us from. Some of us forget the goodness of God that has kept us to this day. We've arrived, we're on the mountain top, but we forget when we were buried. And it is only in our minds that we were able to cry out, God is like when you're having a demonic encounter in your sleep and you're trying to say Jesus and the words can't come out. That is a symbolism of being buried. When you're buried, you're underneath things and you're not able to function as you normally do. And some of us have been buried by troubles, buried by where we were born, buried by the communities that we grew up in, buried by the poverty <coughs> of our parents, buried by the, the circumstances of our, 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 our lives. We're born into a family of 12 and 13 children and the father, our father and mother could only afford to take care of three. And so trying to, to, to stretch the, 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 the resources for three to 13 is, 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 a, is a task. Come on, but God kept us. And today, we don't even have to concern ourselves about what we're going to eat. If we drink porridge in the evening for dinner, it's because we feel for it. Come on, it's because we have a craving from our past. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We want to stay in touch with the humility with which we grew up but it's not because we have to because the freezer is still full of food the fr I come on somebody so we should praise our incredible God because he has brought us a far far way in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah our last scripture for this morning is Romans 12 <coughs> hallelujah verse 1 to 12 I'm just gonna read as we, we we have been reading but our God is incredible and what I'm doing guys is setting a stage for how we are gonna go through these next three days you're gonna get your Bible you get the scriptures we gave you the scriptures and you're gonna go through and declare them over your own life over your family pray them pray them like a prayer hallelujah Hallelujah. And just stop in between. Don't be afraid, man. If you have the time, that is. Um, if you're not, if you're at work or on lunchtime, because lunch is no word. Amen. Hallelujah. So as you're going through, you just stop after a verse and just honor God, man. Cry if you need to cry. Scream if you need to scream. Not too loud if you're at work. Hallelujah. But just enjoy the presence of God. Just make it into something intimate. Remember why we're fasting? For ink intimacy excuse me intimacy and so don't just rush through don't just read through break at the verses and just ah embrace him and let him embrace you hallelujah glory to god hallelujah thank you jesus so what we're doing this morning is demonstrating how what just one way you can do your own way but we're just showing you a way that you can go ahead and go through these next few days of intimacy okay so Romans 12 hallelujah thank you Jesus Romans 12 from 1 to 12 says hallelujah we are living sacrifice to God I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable to God which is your reasonable service Lord as we begin this time of pursuing you for intimacy we the fourth watch family present our bodies as a living sacrifice unto you lord this is our reasonable service and so we do it in obedience to your word we place everything that we are on the altar and like isaac we say have your way do what you need to do perform surgery on us lord cut out everything that is rotting or that has died mm -hmm. cleanse 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 and refurbish and stitch us up and make us new we desire to be a new wine skin for you that you might pour into us that which we must pour into others so lord have us receive us 
and do a work in us and through us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it continues, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Father, we ask you this morning to transform our minds, renew our minds in, this few, in these days, O oh God Almighty. May everything that once guide our thought process, may everything that has negatively influenced our way of living, our way of thinking, our way of acting, die by fire die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May in this season we are able to recognize the acceptable and perfect will of you, O Almighty God. May that alone be the foundation of our existence. May our mind be as the mind of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. May we think and speak and act according to your will and purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. May people encounter us O oh God Almighty, and wonder who we are because what they see is you. Like our sister, O oh God Almighty, the, 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 the evildoer did not see her. He saw angels. He saw the Holy Spirit. Lord, may each of us in this Fort Watch family, our God, never exist anymore. But every time persons see us, they don't see body, soul, and spirit. They see spirit man, spirit woman. They see a spirit son ready to do whatever it takes. Ah, to change environments, to shift circumstances, to transform communities, and hallelujah, to defend nations in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is the perfect will, ah, an acceptable will of our God for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For I say through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of yourself Hallelujah. more highly Jesus. than you ought to think, yes, but to Lord. think soberly as God has dealt mm. to each and one a Lord. measure of faith. Yes, Lord, Lord, teach us Hallelujah. in this, these three days how yes. to humble ourselves before yes, you, Lord. how not to think of ourselves more highly than we mm. ought to, but Lord, to walk mm. in the faith that brings humility, yes, to Lord. walk in the humility that expands faith that may your grace for faith and humility be upon us lord may we not be so pompous that you have to tear us down may we be not may we not be so high and mighty that we forget who raised us to the mountain top may we not be so lofty that you keep us afar off but oh god almighty may we be meek and humble that you will draw us nigh unto you and be intimate with us yes, that Lord. we might truly be one with you mm. as you are one with us yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 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 that's an example of how we pray when we see what God has said that should be you know we, we, we just join with him agree with him and just personally and for your family just declare that it is so according to the will and purpose of God amen hallelujah for as we have many members in one body but all the members do not have the same function hallelujah and so father as there are many members in this family of the fourth watch but not all have the same body the same thought the same mind the same circumstances we pray oh god almighty that you sovereign god know all the different situations and circumstances all the different desires all the different weaknesses failings flaws that are in each and every one of us at different places for you are sovereign you are oh god almighty you are all knowing ever present ever faithful and ever true we ask you this morning oh god almighty to visit every individual in this family every person visit every element aspect of our lives every fiber of our being and minister to us individually that collectively we might be an immovable force in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we, so we being many are one body in Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Individually, members of one another. Hallelujah. Lord, we desire to be one body. Hallelujah. In the Sport Watch family. One body for you. One body that demonstrates. Uh, hallelujah. Actively 
what you desire for us to, to, to demonstrate. Lord, may no member of this Fourth Watch family, hallelujah, be less than you have called us to be. May we intimately be intertwined and interlinked by your mm. spirit, protected by your angels, and led by your Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And may your anointing be so rich upon each and every one of us, O God Almighty, as we seek after you, that everywhere that we go, persons will say, this is a child of the King. In the name of Jesus. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy prophesy father i release the gift of prophecy Hallelujah. upon your people now across the length and breadth of this platform wherever they are in the world let the anointing to prophesy go forth now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah prophetic anointing prophetic anointing in these three days lord i thank you that you will not only prophesy rhema words to your people but in their journal they will write prophetic utterances lord they will prophesy to themselves to their family hallelujah because the gift of prophecy the anointing to prophesy is being released right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah hallelujah mm -hmm. and release the gift of faith so that each person will prophesy according to faith hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. lord the word says our ministry let us use it to our ministering father we thank you that the ministry of the gospel of jesus christ will be stirred up like a volcano in the belly of every fourth world family member i thank you that there shall be none that will be crippled by fear there shall be no member oh god there's some of us who are in strategic as atmospheres and environments that is difficult to minister the gospel i thank you for the wisdom i thank you for the opportunities i thank you for the strategic ability to manipulate the circumstances that exist in their atmosphere so that they can still demonstrate or speak to your goodness your love your mercy lord may people see their actions and the way they deal with stuff and says how come you are like that and you said do you really want to know because if I tell you, ah, glory to God, you are responsible for what you hear. And so, Lord, may our lives ah, be a light that shines that others will see and say, may I follow you. Because the way you are going looks like the right way because your light is so bright. And so let that ministry be the ministering that we do in Jesus' name. Let us use our ministering. He who teaches in teaching father we thank you that we will have the ability in this season in these three days oh god a download of the anointing to teach lord even that which we didn't learn in the way that men learn things lord by your spirit give us the uncommon ability to teach others about you about your presence about fasting about praying about moving in the spirit about healing and deliverance about prophesying about ministering may we have uncommon downloads of the ability to teach others how to access you and how to walk according to your will and purpose in the name of Jesus Christ he who exhorts in exhortation father may we always be happy for those oh God Almighty who are being blessed may we exhort and edify and comfort others oh God Almighty may we constantly give praise unto you and may we big up and lift up hallelujah others rather than tear them down hallelujah hallelujah to the king of kings may no one be able to accuse us oh god rightly or fairly of having not exhorted others above ourselves in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah he who gives with liberty he who leads lord let us be a giver cause us to be givers give us seed that we might give give us that which needs to which needs to be in us oh god that we can give to others oh father god pour love into us that we might give love ah oh, pour anointing upon us that we might give anointing give us resources oh god almighty financial all manner of things oh god almighty that we can give lord we cannot visit the, 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 the poor unless we have what to give we cannot visit those who are in prison unless we have how to bless them so give us what is required to be a blessing to others in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah he who leads with diligence 
He who shows mercy with cheerfulness. Father, cause us to lead our families, lead our, our, our peers, lead at work, lead in our community, lead in our nation with diligence. Oh God Almighty, and may we always, in every situation and circumstance of our lives, be ready, willing, and able to show mercy with cheerfulness. Mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, the, 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 the last time I got upset with a young man who sprayed water on my glass, uh, hallelujah, and the glass was clean. Normally I wouldn't do that, but that moment, God, I, 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 I was upset, frustrated over foolishness. He didn't break the glass, he didn't do anything, and even if he did, what, what, what about it? It's material things. And so, Lord, as, I, as you call me to help to teach and to pour into your people, may we look and identify even the small things that needs to be adjusted, that needs to be addressed, that needs to be delivered. Hallelujah. And so, may we show mercy. I did not show mercy cheerfully. Even though he wet up the glass and messed it up and tried to wipe it off, but he still made it not look as clean as it was before. I should have cheerfully showed mercy. And so I beseech you, in every situation and every opportunity that you get, the Lord requires of us, especially in this time, the enemy is going to try and bring temptation. He's going to cause your, your persons in your family that are not at the same place like you, walking like you, talking like you, fasting like you, to, to, to frustrate and annoy and upset you. But God is saying to you this morning, show mercy cheerfully. Show mercy cheerfully. Even when you're inside your stomach saying, man, you're lucky I am fasting or I would have conked you in your forehead. Come on, somebody. Show mercy cheerfully. Don't say, all right, I forgive you. Mm. I truly don't know and I forgive you. No, that's not mercy cheerfully. Say it is well, it is well, it's okay. I forgive you. Go ahead, man. It's all right. It was just a mistake. Ah, uh, bless God. Hey, it's all right, honey. It's all right. I know you left the toilet seat up for the one hundred and fifty thousand times, but it's all right, baby. I'll put it down. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless Jesus. Someone step on your toe and it hurt like wow. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. I know you didn't do it deliberately. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Just some silly examples, some fun examples of showing mercy cheerfully. That's what God requires of us. So it's been a good time of just repenting and worshiping the Lord this morning. And we give God thanks That's for what Jared's he has done. Birthday. Oh, it's Astra Jarrett's birthday. Astra. Hallelujah. Astra is one of our family members. Glory to God, it's her birthday. Let's sing to Astra. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, dear Astra. Happy birthday, I make a sing now. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, dear Astra. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Father, we bless you this morning and we thank you for Astra. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you have preserved her for such a time as this. We thank you that the anointing of Esther is upon Astra. And we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that though, hallelujah, the enemy has tried to, 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 to push her out, hallelujah, like Vashti. I thank you, Lord, that she shall not go the route of Vashti, but shall go the route of Esther. I thank you that in this time and in this season, oh God Almighty, that she was brought to the kingdom, that you will elevate her, that you will cause her to be uh, uh, the savior of her family. I thank you, Lord, that as she prays, you will hear and and, and, and answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for Sister Astra. Bless her with health and strength, prosperity and good success. May she live long and prosper and may she prosper even as her soul prospers in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah. 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 Um, Berga, Sister Berga, Aretha. Aretha, hallelujah. As I saw this communion bread, I remembered Sister Aretha Berga struggling with an illness from the enemy. And we just want to agree this morning. Yes, just memorize that name, Aretha Berga, Aretha Berga. We speak that name into the realm of the spirit and we say, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Aretha Berga, is calling upon you lord she's a yes. child of the king mm -hmm. she is your daughter 
on the cross you were bruised wounded pierced nailed by thorns and by nails for her healing for her restoration for her deliverance lord jesus christ even before you went on the cross the woman with the issue of blood received your mercy the woman bent over for 18 years received your mercy the man at the pool of bethesda received your mercy Jairus' daughter received your mercy lazarus received your mercy countless countless blind bartimaeus received your mercy ah god we can't name out all of who received your mercy and when you rose from the dead ah mercy was extended to the millions and billions of people that are in the world today much less your children your word says give liberally hallelujah to all men but especially to those of the household of faith and that is your word which means you have a responsibility to honor that word and so you give healing to many oh god almighty this woman of god is of the household of faith and so i challenge you almighty god from a place of humility and a place of honor and respect for your sovereignty and i say to you lord god almighty we as a family lift aretha burger before you this morning lord morphine and panadine and these things should not be the source of our comfort but your hand your love your favor your anointing and so lord we send your anointing to aretha burger now we send your healing hand and your healing blood to aretha burger right now and we say lord transform every cell in her body remove every contaminated cell in the name of jesus christ lord let that foul spirit of infirmity come out of her now in the mighty name of jesus every spirit of pain and discomfort every spirit Spirit of witchcraft and any other evil concupiscence that have been sent against her, every arrow, every dart, oh God Almighty, we block and destroy their works now against Aretha Berger in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that her restoration and healing is in this now time. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your immediate answer to this woman of God's cry. And we come in agreement even now as touching in the earth according to your word in jesus name amen and amen and amen hallelujah 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 blessed be the name of the lord father we thank you for this morning we thank you for the first part of the phase one of this time of intimacy with you we thank you lord that you showed up and show off this morning that you are in, you are excited to get with us and to be intimate with us so that this can that will be a time of romance Blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Father, as you have done a mighty work thus far, we, we seal it now with your body and your blood. Oh, Father, we ask that you will search our thoughts, search our words, search our actions to see if there be anything that has contaminated our opportunity to eat of your body and drink of your blood worthily. We repent and renounce it now and ask your forgiveness in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we ask that you will sanctify and consecrate these emblems now. May they be to our bodies blessings and strength and health and new life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body, broken for you. As often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. Amen. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. 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 I know this communion is causing a shift this morning. A shift. A shift in your body, soul, and spirit. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup and he said, Drink, this is my blood. The blood of the new covenant. Hallelujah. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. My death, burial, and resurrection until I come. Drink ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, we are healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so we've come to the end of this morning's time in the presence of the Lord. Remember to join us this afternoon at 2.30.
where we will transition into three o'clock where we'll pray some more scriptures and just close the time officially hallelujah with communion make sure you have communion or try to get your communion those who are at work um get something during the course of the day to have there hallelujah you don't have to get the the, the big thing um just a, a, a something that you know how to do it we have gone through that amen you're veterans in this thing now but we want to have communion at the at the end as well and to just pray uh with each other and for each other amen so may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace may the lord fill you up may the lord of heaven fill you afresh this morning as you are empty of everything that is natural thoughts and deeds may the presence of the holy one of israel from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet encapsulate you infill you speak through you look through you think through you and act through you and each and every one of us in jesus mighty name amen go forth my family have an amazing day keep your mind stayed on jesus no matter what you have to do if you're at work you're doing your work but don't get distracted by the person who will come and say and do things just focus on righteousness holiness and truth according to the rule and the purpose of god in the name of jesus Christ. so have an amazing day god's name love you and we love the whole I want to God bless you God bless you hallelujah God is good God is good God bless you love you guys have a great one see you again tomorrow oh later hallelujah I almost got into my old routine and mode but later 2 30 those who can as long as you can join us at 2 30 where we will close the time how fast for today God bless you